Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. You know, I was over here in Lamar the other day. We were checking out the Lamar Cemetery. And several people asked me why I didn't show the Stella Morris Chapel, which is right next to it. So here we are at the Stella Morris Chapel. It's got a Texas historical marker there. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Psalm 100. And they have some statues of Christ and a cross and the Virgin Mary and some other saints that I can't quite make out from here. And the significance of this for me is it says no dogs allowed. All dogs go to heaven, but don't uh, don't try to get in the courtyard here at the Stella Mars Chapel. <laughs> they don't have uh, masses here anymore, at least none scheduled at the moment. But when the Union came here to the Mar, they basically routed the entire town, uh, burnt everything to the ground, from what I've read from several sources, but left this chapel alone. Uh, this isn't the original location. I don't know offhand right where it was. I used to know such things. But uh, they moved it to this location. Which seems fitting right next to the cemetery. And it looks to be in really good shape. I've never been inside that uh, chapel. And I also showed you this location here. The old location of the, uh, the Lamar Volunteer Fire Company. And we uh, checked out the new location in the video. It is an overcast, drizzly, rainy day. And I was in a Lamar kind of mood. I don't want to waste my rainy days at the beach. And this area has lots of beautiful live oaks. And I thought we could take advantage of that. And see how beautiful they are just came across some deer as I was driving down the road and I stopped abruptly and kind of startled a couple of them <laughs> sorry about that kids I'm just happy to see the deer there's a couple kind of took off when I pulled up let's leave them alone let them do their deer thing no trespassing. Entering State Park. I had read a while ago that the State Park kind of bought this property behind the big tree. And I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to do anything with it. And if they do, will we be allowed to uh, go back there? used to have an airstrip in it to go out to one of the cattle ranches. Well, we're seeing some deer today. It's just starting to rain. I thought we'd see more cows, but I know on the holiday weekends, the cows like to go up to New York City and catch a few musicals. <coughs> oh dear. It just wouldn't be Lamar if we didn't come across some turkey vultures <laughs> someone had to ask me what these basically sticks in the water were from and it could be a bunch of things what do you think marking traps could have had uh, barbed wire on it at one point. Could have been a primitive pier. You can see the same thing further down here. I pan slowly so we don't get a whiplash. See it down there? Could have been used for lots of things. And I do see some uh, whooping cranes. 
which are nice to see. But these kids are chowing down on something good. What you got today, guys? I guess I interrupted a meal. They're not super close like we got to the other time we were here, but there's a bunch of whooping cranes out there amongst the cattle. And their job this time of year is to eat. And that's what they seem to be doing every time we come over. It's December and we got flowers and mosquitoes and temperatures in the mid 70s. Here come the mosquitoes just stopping for a little bit. You can hopefully see them dive bombing me right now. There's the whooping cranes. We're a little bit closer here. One, two, three, four, five there and another five or six off to the left. This is the shot I've been talking about. But we do need about 20 more up in there to make it really creepy looking. Just in time for your Christmas cards. <laughs> that is a scary looking tree though. Old beat up live oak. Hundreds and hundreds of years old. Well, this is where we were looking at gators the other day. You've heard of partridges in a pear tree. Well, that's egrets in a live oak. <laughs> it's not a live oak, but. That's a lot. It does kind of look like a Christmas decoration though. We'll take it. I don't know what's going on in Rockport, but I saw a few different buses around town from, uh, one was from a school bus from Hildago. I don't know if they're playing Rockport this weekend in football. And I saw like a, uh, a mineral wells almost like a short school bus but kind of fancy lettering white with the crazy water logo on it I don't know if they're down for an event that's in town this weekend or what's going on when I went back to try to see the spot that crazy water vehicle again I couldn't locate it I was uh driving Luciano around at the <laughs> at the time. Poor Luciano. He said he, he, he doesn't like the uncomfortable silence when I drive him somewhere. And <laughs> I realize it's today is Luciano says something and I'm just trying to figure out what he's talking about. <laughs> so he'll say something and I'll, there'll just be like these long pauses where I'm just trying to decipher what exactly is going on. So that's what I did today. We went to uh, Walmart, the laundromat, the storage unit, the Goodwill store, and the HEB grocery store. I feel like we might've went someplace else, but I'm kind of missing it right now. I'm check I'm looking at the weather we might get some lighter skies right around sunset so if we get a sunset i'm going to throw it in at the end guys i uh i hope we just don't keep this weather up it's it's a lot more fun making videos when the sun is shining things just look prettier that's not prettier that's a pretty house right there hey guys Stay tuned for a sunset. Thanks for riding along today. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm hoping for better weather, guys. Hey, I wanted to thank uh, Steve. I met Steve yesterday up at Rockport Beach. Gave me a very nice note with a gift in it. And uh, I got to talk to Steve. He 
He's from Minnesota. Good guy. Steve, thank you very much, buddy. It was very nice to meet you. Everyone else, thanks for riding along today. I wonder what kind of palm tree that was. Thanks for watching.